Hello. Hi, I'm the Ops Manager here at the Reading Fight and Fills. My name's Jared. I was just uh, calling, um, looking for the person who'd be responsible for coordinating group outings at Car Tech. Um, that's Nick. I can send you over to him. Great. Thank you so much. Hi, this is Nick. Hi, Nick. I was connected to you um, as you being the person that coordinated, coordinates groups uh, for Car Tech. I'm the operations manager here with the Reading Fight and Fills. My name's Jared. I just wanted to spend uh, some time, talk to you, and learn about uh, the different types of group outings that you do. Is now a good time to, to talk about that? Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. Awesome. First off, I just want to ask, um, have you ever been to a, a Fight and Fills game before? Yeah, last year we came out. Um, it was a little summer picnic with all the employees. Um, yeah, we had a great time. We were on the third base side, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of fun times with the employees. Awesome. That's great to hear. I'm glad uh, glad you're familiar with us and, and you enjoyed your previous uh, outings with us. Um, now, what other events have you done, um, or is it just mostly um, a summer picnic that you do once a year here at the Fightins? Um, we tried a couple other things. Uh, they didn't have a great attendance, so we stick to coming out here to the ballpark. Okay, so that's a safe bet everyone, everyone enjoys to come to. Yeah, that's our, our biggest outcome. Yeah. Awesome. That's great. Um, now, with your uh, you know previous groups here at First Energy Stadium, um, what are some things that you have liked um, as well as disliked about the outings here um, in previous years? Uh, I think our our main like is um, everyone enjoying themselves outside of work, um, just talking, enjoying the game, the atmosphere. We love right, um, and I'd say one of our our main dislikes. It's probably the only dislike is it was very crowded in our picnic area. Okay. And, um, the lines were long to the buffet, so um, we would not, we'd rather not have that happen again this year. So. Okay. Um, what what day of the week were you out um, in previous years? Was it a, a Friday, Saturday night with, um, you know, some of our Mega Blast fireworks shows, or was it just a weeknight that, you know, there might have been a good bobblehead giveaway? Um, we came out on a Saturday night. Um, there was a fireworks show. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The the Friday Saturday nights, um, especially during the summer, tend to be some of our highest attended game, uh, solely for the the fact of the fireworks. So I can definitely understand the long lines there. Um, now, are you, is that something you're uh, looking forward to as far as a day? I mean, would you prefer Friday Saturday night, or do you think you could get uh, the same attendance? Uh, from a Monday through through Thursday kind of night. Um, I think we have enough fans, uh, baseball fans. So I think any night would pretty much work. Um, I think Thursday sounds probably like a good idea. Thursday or Friday. Perfect. Now, Nick, how many people usually come um, to the group outing? Uh, we have close to three hundred that show up. Three hundred, great. Yep. Would you consider that a, a good turnout, so-so turnout? I think that's a good turnout, yeah. Awesome. And the, and the third base uh, picnic area worked, worked best for you. We have some other um, group areas. Um, I know the, the third base picnic area, you're right in the action, um, pretty close to the field. I didn't know if uh, that was the right spot for it, if you wanted to look at the other um, group areas we have. Um, I think we like uh, third base side. Like you said, it's close to the action. Um, it's a great view, and um, overall, we had a, a great time in that picnic area. Awesome. Yeah, that's that's one of my favorite areas to to see a ball game. Um, you're right there where the the away dugout is. Get to see the players coming in and out right beside you. So, neat neat experience there. Um, now, Nick, the, the 300 um, members that, that you mentioned that come out for the group outing, um, is that solely um, your employees or is that spouses and families as well? Um, that's our employees and it includes our spouses. Awesome. Now, Nick, is there any uh, specific goals that you would um, like to accomplish with your outing or is it just more of a you know get everybody out away from work kind of kind of outing yeah it's it's more of like that uh we like to have a fun time um 
let loose a little bit because during work, you know, it's stressful. So right. we like to have a fun time outside of work. Great. Yeah, it's always fun to, you know, see the the fun side of, of your managers and, and, and things like that. So I, I understand completely. Um, now, now, Nick, what um, time of year does your group usually prefer? You like middle of the summer, um, nice little summer party, or more of a, a early spring um, outing? Uh, we like to do it um, in summer, usually in July. Okay. Uh, like middle of July or near the end of July. Right when the, the team hits its peak there. Yeah. Um, usually... Uh, middle of the summer, we have uh, the the best team before we lose some of the promotion uh, up to AAA and and things like that. So, okay. I understand understand completely. Uh, so yeah, we can we can definitely uh, get you squared away for some time in in July. We have a a few openings um, for out for group outings. So so that actually works perfect for for the both of us. Um, now when you do the outing, who usually pays for it is it your employees or is it something the the company does um, for them or is it uh, split amongst both parties um, we have the company usually cover the whole thing uh, the HR director is kind of the head person for it which is me um, so we like to treat them and pay for it awesome that's great um, now you've you've done this in years past is the the thirty dollars a person is that the right budget for you yeah, I think that's a good fit. Perfect. Yeah, because we like uh, the seating area. It's great and for that money, including the buffet. I think it's a good price. Definitely. Yeah, uh, twenty eight dollars gets you, like you said, the, the all you could eat buffet and and uh, seats close to the action. So uh, that's that's the area that's uh, you get the biggest bang for your buck. If mm -hmm. if I can say so, I agree with you there. Now, when you do these outings that you've done with us in the past. Um, how do you normally promote it? Is it uh, something you send emails to all the, the employees or flyers, newsletters? Um, how do you usually go about promoting that? Uh, we usually do all of those. Um, we have flyers set up, set up in the lunchroom area. Um, also emails, we send out a big email list to all of our employees. And then um, we have a newsletter that comes out once a month. So we usually like put it in there also. Great. Now, is that something we helped you um, populate with the, the email as far as uh, typing things up and forwarding to you? Or do you just kind of say, hey, this is the date, um, time? Um, I kind of get a little thing together, a little write-up. But um, in the past, um, some of the front office employees have helped me um, like with the wording and the pricing and some artwork to make it look Great. Yeah. Well, Nick, I'll tell you what we can do uh, t to make things easier for you this season. Um, what I can do is I can type up the email directly, give um, all the the um, area that the, the group's sitting in, gate opening times, things like that. Just send that to you, and then you can forward it on, so it's one less thing that you would have to do. Yeah, I think that would be a big help for us. Yeah. Great. Now, uh, Nick, one last question for you. Um, you know, how are the decisions usually made? Is that something that you would, um, that you have normally made the decision on, or is there a committee that usually has to vote on that to pass it? Um, we usually have a little committee. It's around five of us, okay. uh, including myself. Um, but in the, in the end run, I'm the one that makes the decisions on the group outings for our employees. Perfect. Um, so, Nick, when would be your um, next meeting? Would that be something that I could attend, or um, is that more of like a closed door meeting, just just the committee that can attend those? Um, our meeting is um, next Wednesday night, actually. Okay. Um, we have it every other week, um, and that would be great if you could come and kind of share more details with us. I think that would be helpful to me and the other board members. Yeah, that's that's not a problem. Um, just from our conversation here, I have uh, a good list. Um, what I can do is I can pull um, those Thursday nights um, towards the middle to end of July um, and recommend something uh, for the committee and, and allow them to, to pick the dates. Um, but yeah, I'd be more than happy to come and, you know, like 
I say eliminate the middleman just to uh, just to make an, another task easier for you, um, and I can give them all the details directly. Um, so Nick, you said next Wednesday night, I I can definitely uh, do that. Um, come talk to everybody, and uh, we can get that um, group book for you. How's that sound? Yeah, sounds great. Awesome, Nick. Well, thank you, and I'll see you next Wednesday. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Thanks.